All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. We have another fig variety to review for you guys today. And this is probably my most highly anticipated fig of the year of 2023. It's not new to me, believe it or not. I've ripened this fig in the past and I really, really love it. It's just that it's been years since I've been able to eat it again. And this one's called De La Roca, which translates to Of the Rock. It's a pretty, pretty badass name. Um, Pons grows it, and that's where this one originates in Majorca. And you can find a lot of details about it in his book or on his website, Fig Trees of the Balearic Islands. Um, you'll find there in his book a writing on this, actually, that describes how well it does in humidity and that it could be adapted well to the humidity because it was pretty much found growing in a garden. And so there's a sprinkler system or something that goes off in this garden. And therefore, it has somehow slowly adapted to these more humid conditions from the irrigation system. Um, I don't know how accurate that statement is, but I can guarantee you this is a very good fig in humid weather and in humid conditions. My friend Brian, after I was kind of screaming about this fig, um, years ago when I realized how amazing it is, a lot of people kind of caught, out, caught on and my friend Brian down in Louisiana really loves it as well. And so if someone in Louisiana is growing it and having good success with it, it's probably a good sign that it's going to do well in other humid places. Um, now, the one thing I find about this that's interesting, this fig, beyond the humidity resistance and, and good um, shape, and obviously it's got a good skin quality, but it dries really well. It dries quicker, and it's also a coldedom replacement. It's very similar to the coldedoms, I find, in texture and eating experience, shape. It's missing kind of that really fat neck, although the neck is definitely not skinny by any means. Similar pyroform shape, similar size. A lot of things about this are similar. But I find it to be healthier and less finicky, more productive, easier to grow. And again, it has this amazing drying capability that the Col de Doms, at least Gris Noir and, um, and Blanc, they have that as well, but not to this degree they don't dry or shrivel typically this quickly. Um, and so that's a really important feature of this one. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited to try this um, and get this tree here that's in a five gallon pot more established. It's still really not that established. Um, we got a lot more time with this, that this tree will be growing and, and producing and coming into its own probably next year. Um, but I would really like to continue evaluating this, which is why I picked up this tree, because I planted my other two that I love and had available in the ground. But the problem with the two I planted, they are basically the runt of the litter amongst giants. The trees that are surrounding them are really large trees. And they just, this, this fig here doesn't get the sunlight, basically, simply put, that it needs to actually become uh, a mature tree. Eventually it will, I have no doubt, but it's just gonna take time. And they're growing now quite well. Um, before, they I would say they were really, really lacking. So I'm imagining next year we'll get some pretty decent size on them. Nothing spectacular, I would say, or nothing super mature, but we will at some point probably not next year, but the year after, get um, probably a nice size and mature tree of this in the ground. Um, and I will try to keep propagating this as much as possible, especially after we evaluate it again this year. I was never really able to totally evaluate this fig. We had a, uh, you know, last, the, the few years ago where this was actually a fig that I loved and was talking a lot about it, a lot of that was we were still missing some pieces of information. And if I could get more information from this, I would feel a lot better about how I feel about it. And 
if I had more information, I might be more inclined to really plant this and propagate a lot more of these. Um, but you know, it's just, it is what it is. You, you can't always get everything perfect. Um, I didn't expect obviously after planting them for them to do so poorly. Interesting, this one is potentially pollinated. I know a lot of the reviews we've been doing, the figs we've looked at were potentially pollinated. You can see there the discoloration actually. And so a portion of this probably is pollinated or, or at least a portion of this was attempted to be pollinated. And it looks like there's more seed activity there in that portion of the fig. So I'm gonna taste this portion separate to what looks pollinated and what doesn't look pollinated. And I may even save seeds. I would love to grow seedlings of this fig. Okay, it doesn't look nearly as ripe as I would have expected either, but let's try it. Oh yeah. It's very, very good. Reminds me of a, of a well-ripened LSU tiger. It's got like a chewy skin, nice pulp, fruity, not exactly super berry. You know, I remember this is probably one of the best figs I've ever ripened actually here. Um, you know, and that's kind of saying something. This was just such a mind-blowing experience. I remember when I ate this um, years ago when I got it almost perfect. All right, let's try and eat the portion here that seems pollinated. Not much of a difference there, if any difference. So the whole fig to me doesn't seem pollinated, but I'd be still curious to maybe take some of these seeds and try and germinate them. You never know. In any case, this is a very good fig. It, it doesn't exactly scream cold and om right now in my, in, my, uh, in my mind, but it's close. And I, and I do think um, we still need to really, um, I think, get more figs off of that tree. This being the first fig of the year, plus the fact that there's a little bit of a weird pollination thing happening. The pollination actually has been mostly negatively affecting a lot of the varieties. So, um, yeah, it kind of is what it is there. But nonetheless, very good. I think a lot of people should grow this fig. Dry places, dry people in dry places, people in humid places, and so on. Thanks for watching this one here, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you guys for the next one. Take care.